when people look at Shady's comparison, they say Barry Sanders, right, the way he ran the ball. They used to call me Baby T.O., right, but more like I was just big, but there was really no comparison there. Right. Pac, I don't know who they compared you to. Who they compared you to? Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. So Deion Sanders. Who would you say your comparison is? <laughs> hold on, no. Yeah, what are you talking about? Hold on. I can't let this go. Hold on. They can put you to who? <laughs> hold on, no. We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah, wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he gotta eat, you know? Spike, spike your skills. Fat. Keep it riding for the fam. You gotta light the wig and wheel straight up. But in the past bag, work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah. And my family needed bread. I had to come correct that's why i keep airing it out like i just passed gas hey. lowest moment of your life that's suicidal i tried to take myself out in cincinnati ohio mm. and i didn't i didn't no longer want to be here man you have to be strongest to to bypass all of the thoughts that it takes to keep yourself here. You know, I know my mama gonna see this and I love her. Where you at? One to 10, legendary question on I Am Athlete, our platform, our show. Men, it's time for us to talk about it. Talk therapy is critical for performance. So on this episode today, we brought in BetterHelp to sponsor this one and provide a platform for all of us to utilize if we are in need. If you think you might be feeling depressed, stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, today's sponsor, BetterHelp, is here to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you talk to a therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out the questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule a secure video and phone sessions. Plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com backslash IAA. Also link below in the description. This show is going to be a little bit about business. It's a little different. Business. A little business. Business. It's a little different because a lot of times when we talk business, it's always the OGs right. giving game to the, to the young boys, right? This might be yeah. the opposite. Huh. Well, he's making more money than all of us right now. Okay, that's facts. But this person, just so the team know, he's under 21. So you can't, no alcohol. This is water right now. Water. This, this is water. water. I mean, just sitting here, right? Like, we all been, had a great career, right, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? I was a highly recruited coming out from high school. You was too, right, Pac? Yes, sir. You, you wasn't, but you was a good player. Nah. <laughs> but I never seen, I guess the, the media is different now. You know what I'm saying? The social media and all that, where we sitting with a, a young kid, 18, right? Yeah. This guy not only has an eight-figure deal with Puma. The Puma, first to do a shoot deal. The first to ever do it. Matter of fact, this is my camera, get my camera. We in New York City. <laughs> New you know York saying? City. The Real Puma New store in, in Manhattan. Right? The store is closed down. You can't buy nothing else. It's over. And the reason why we're up in this store right now, because you're looking at him. So we want to give you your flowers. I know it's still early in your career, but we got to give you your flowers. Oh, yeah. And I, I think that the first question I want to ask you is, how do you manage all that? Financially, like you getting money and all that. How do you, what how you, do you mean, handle just, that? Just the lifestyle? The, no, I'm saying just the lifestyle, being the first to get a, a big eight-figure deal for Puma. You didn't even play college. You didn't even play NFL or NBA yet. I was dealing with a lot of politics and stuff like that growing up. So I kind of, I kind of groomed myself with it. Then you got the NIL hit. So it's like, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother world right there now that money's involved with it. But I mean, I know that it could all end tomorrow though. So that's why I feel humble with it. You know, I'll be talking to my homeboys a lot and I'm like, I'm the first to do this, first to do that, right? And it's like, God don't put everybody in this position. A lot of people tell me if I had, if I was in your shoes, like, 
you can't tell me nothing. It's not like, yeah, you're right. But in my head, I'm like, damn, like, that's just, that's God, though. God don't give everybody this position. Like, you got to be able to, you know what I'm saying, know how to go about it, for real, for real. So, so last year when the, when the Neil um, law was in effect, came into effect, and was passed, excuse me, one of the things I thought about was, like, yo, it's dope, and it's, you know, we should have did this 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. Right. One of the things I was nervous about was how does a high school athlete or even a college athlete keep the main thing the main thing, right? Like, meaning, like, at the end of the day, you can't put fame before the game. So now you're in high school, and now you're making millions of dollars. You're making more money than probably half of the NBA, half of the NFL. So how do you make sure that you keep the game before all the other stuff? Uh. <clears throat> Just staying grounded, and I, I haven't made it yet. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've accomplished a lot, but I feel like I ain't made it yet because I'm not in the league yet. You feel me? That's the ultimate goal right there. And then when you got that, then that's a whole nother story. But my mindset going to be my mindset. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm go hard. You feel me? Because we was talking about it earlier. Like, people get better. Like, at work, the work going to show, and it's also going to catch up if you're not working. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see people passing and stuff like that. So. Probably, I don't want to, like, I'm trying to stay at the top, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got an ego to where I can't let nobody think that's they're right. better than me, you know what I'm saying? So that's just, it's just dogging me, honestly. Hey, I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking, and um, of course, I wouldn't have had an NIL deal in college, I mean, in high school, I paid, should say. Bro. But um, I was really good in basketball. I heard that you was really good in basketball. I mean, I know that you're really we good in basketball. We still got that one-on-one game, right? I heard that you was really good you know in mean? football, too, bro. <laughs> so um, tell me about your football career. Like, when did you figure out, all right, I'm going to go play basketball you and know, leave it's football. crazy. I didn't even leave football. Be I look so, all right, so I played football, played young. I, I would tell I was like six or seventh grade or something like that. But... Football is my first love. Like I ain't, mm. I ain't like basketball for real. Like growing up, my whole childhood, I like I'm not like basketball, but I love football though. You know, so I used to go to sleep with the football, bro. I think mean, on everything, on my mom, I used to go to sleep with the football night before a game, all of it. Like I don't know something about the feeling, to be honest. But man, I had, I remember one season, I had broke my foot. Right, mm. this was in the preseason. I broke my foot, whatever. So I come off the cast, I come out up out the cast like three weeks early. My pops cut off my pops like, look, like we was in the playoffs, right? Then we had played a team, we was playing a team that had won the national championship year before or whatever. So my pops is like, so you trying to cut it off? I'm like, <laughs> well, do it. <laughs> you feel me? For the game? Hey, nah, it was it was uh, that week during practice. So I'm I had it, I had the 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 cast on for like four weeks already, right? So I got a week to get right, basically. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm not knowing how it's going to feel, right? Then it's three weeks early, so cut it off. We cut off with some scissors. I swear, it with took like 30 scissors. minutes with some scissors. Wow. It wasn't even sharp. It was just kitchen scissors. <laughs> you feel that me? took all day, right? <laughs> it's about 30 minutes. I'm telling you, I stand, I fall down. I can't stand up. I ain't <laughs> I fall down, I swear to God. But yeah, I practiced about for a week. Then I, uh, I ended up, we ended up winning this and that, you know what I'm saying? But after that year, that year, uh, basketball had took off for me. So basically, I was like, all right, like, well, my foot, so my foot never healed. So that and was This is the first point. business decision. Yeah. I said we're going to talk yeah. business, right? This, this is a, real business. This is real right business right Cut here. Cut the friend. cast off. You had to decide. Going to play against the number one team in the country. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Well, you had to decide too. You're going to do basketball, do football. Now, the first big business decision. And, and it's funny because I, it, it was hard to give up football, but basketball just took off faster for me. So it was like, it just makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I still get I still get the itch. I'm telling you, I still get the itch. It ain't too what late. Was what was harder, you think? Basketball's harder. Basketball's harder. Basketball's harder. How is it harder? harder. I think basketball. Positions, because you got, you got five. You, I mean, positions are hard to guard in basketball. Like, mm. I don't know. The game is just different. Football, it's like, you, you, you depend a lot on your size strength you got to be smart but you don't got to be that smart to play football like basketball whoa, you got to have whoa, whoa. <laughs> depend depend uh, for real for real though depend on what, what position you play like i play with a lot of dummies so he is right you know what i'm saying so like basketball you got to have iq like you got to have iq like 10 times out of 10 if you're on the field and you stronger and faster and more athletic than someone you're gonna win that 10 out of 10 that's not the case in basketball you know what i'm saying 
Like you got to be real smart, man. You just got to know a lot. Like you know what I'm saying. So you you don't just got to know your position. You got to know everybody else's position rather than the only people who need to know positions. Like say on offense, like like the people that play multiple positions. You know what I'm saying. Basketball is a little bit different. So give me an example of someone that you respect that has high basketball IQ. Brian. That's your guy, right? Brian. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. That makes him smart, like you. The like plays that he makes, he he reads the play like he's always like up one play ahead. Like that's kind of how I am, like because I play quarterback, so I like that that basically went basically into my basketball. So I see the floor very well, and I can see stuff that's gonna happen that other people can't see, and it gets frustrating sometimes. But definitely, Brian, if you see the passes that he making, you know what I'm saying, just like back screens and simple stuff like that, and not everybody do though. You know what I'm saying? He's just he's just gifted, and then experience you play the game for so long you're arguably the greatest of all time you know what i'm saying yeah i heard you uh say parents then you said your dad cut off the cast your parents athletes yeah my pops played uh basketball and football my mom's played basketball and softball oh so it's in his blood so it's in his blood yeah. so how do they uh contribute to like this journey that you're on right now as an athlete and also as a, a businessman Oof. Uh, a lot. They was always, you know, always supportive. But when it got to a certain point, honestly, it, it was almost like I had to, I had to really like teach myself because that was something they haven't went through. Mm, you know what I'm true. saying? So it's, it's hard for them to try to teach me rather than I'm going through it. So I'm gonna know a little bit more about this than they might know. But there's nothing wrong with that. But it just got to a point where I'm like, I'm just teach myself. You know what I'm saying? But it's supportive though, for sure. So l let me ask you this though, right? So when the deal from Puma came, right, right, and when that surfaced, you know what I'm saying, and Puma was like, "Yo, we want to sign you, and et cetera." <laughs> yeah. Who, who, who handles all that, right? Because I know you do, but like, what supporting team? My, my pops. So I got Excel. So Excel, Excel is the one that brought the deal, right? So I guess you can say that it was because of them. But basically, uh, Unc, basically Unc. Uncle my Pat. manager, basically. Okay, yeah. I see you, Unc. Yeah, Unc. So you got Uncle Pat. Unc took a lot of trash, too, ladies and gentlemen. As far as approach them, as far as like when something like when something comes up that's business related, like how we handle that, like usually Unc's the most versatile one. So that's like my right hand man right there. And I let Pops deal with the hoop stuff. Like that's it. He got the hoop stuff, you know what I'm saying? But Unc is in this season as Pops in the hoop stuff, right? But my Pops is in this season as Unc with the business stuff, you know what I'm saying? So that's where the roles come in and, you know what I'm saying? I got Chris, my boy Chris, who takes care of this, that, and the third, right? And it's like everybody play. I don't I don't assign, you do this, you do this, you do what you do, that's gonna be what you do, you know what I'm saying? Then Unc just, Unc be with me like every day. So Unc, Unc like, he knows what's going on more than a lot of, of more than everybody else in our group, but we all like speaking to each other. Everybody's on game, but it's just experience to be honest. So that's why he's my right. He's my versatile. Like he'll go speak for me. So like, you mentioned LeBron James earlier, right? Right. One of the things that LeBron is celebrated for is his team, dudes. He went. He played high school ball with, and now you got Maverick Carter running Spring Hill. You got Rich Paul who's running Clutch, but LeBron. Ain't a part of that, right? Can't be. But all his dudes are in position. Is that someone, I mean, you study from a basketball the, standpoint, from a business that's standpoint. That's the reason I'm like that. Like, I'm <laughs> the same way. That's the reason. Brian's the reason. I'm telling you, like, I've always been like, I'm all, I've always been like, if you see me, you're going to see me with a family member or, like, this gang. Like, you're going to see me with somebody that's in my circle. You know, it's not, you're going to, you're never going to see me with nobody new. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I meet new people and stuff, but you're not going to see me with them and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm all about, like, self-investing. Like, my who you hang around is you. Like, I'm going to invest in us so we can all do something big. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like leeches. I don't got no leeches around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had some. I didn't cut that off, though. But I'm trying to say I'm trying to invest in Vaughn. Vaughn, what you trying to do? I mean, I'm all invest in you, you know what I'm saying? You take it from there, you feel me? Like that. Then we start a business, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to keep it in the family. Mikey, um, two-part question right here. I never got an eight-figure deal when I was in high school. First of all, 
What's the first thing you freaking said to yourself? Like, Puma! Like, uh, what they say? <laughs> uh. But um, I can imagine what that feeling is like. It's like being drafted in the first round or like right. going to the NFL. Um, first of all, how was that? Second of all, what is the biggest thing probably you've had conversation wise with, with LeBron as far as business? Uh for the first one. <clears throat> I, it was it was more so to me when I signed the shoe deal, and it, the money didn't hit till I actually went to the store and like, oh, it's on right yeah. now, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, all right, let me go get my neck right, let me go do all <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? But it was uh, it definitely felt it definitely felt great, and it, it didn't hit me, it didn't hit me for for like two weeks, and it just hit me. I was like, damn, like I really can't, I really can't believe it, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Puma for that. And then second. Brian, me and Brian don't really talk on business. That's more like, um, that's more like family. I just, he'll holler at me, I'll holler at him just on some, what's good with it, you know, how you been, whatever, keep going, like, on some love. But it ain't really been nothing deeper than that for real. That's how it's always kind of been. You got Brian's number? I don't got Brian's number. Y'all just DM. Y'all never talk about. I'm gonna get that for you. You gonna get that? Yeah. So, so we talk, Brian, you got Brian. Brian. Y'all the same class? Yeah. It was your top five in your class. Yeah, that, you yeah, you know your, your top five in your class. I my top you. five. It's a lot of guys. It's a lot of guys in my class, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't seen all of them play, so I can't give you a real. I can't give you a real top five, to be honest. Like I can't give you a. Why not? Well, I haven't, I, I haven't like, seen the dudes a top that you five. seen. I'm not, I'm, seen? I'm, I'm not gonna put myself. I'm gonna put. You gotta have. No, no order though. This no is order, like five yeah. like. DJ definitely gonna be in there. Uh, DJ Wagner, you got. Um, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Like my class is front heavy, so it's mm. like, it's it's not too much. It's not too much depth, but my class isn't the best class though. At the same time, and then I don't like. Then on top of that, I just ain't seen all of them play. Like if you give me say the last year's class, that's a loaded class. Like, right, I can right, give right. you an opinion on the top five and that, but I can't really, I can't really give one on this one. So I think moving from the, the business part. Can we move from the business part? <laughs> um, <laughs> he said that. He was to, mad. Hey, look to to know about yourself because people don't yeah. know you. All they see is Instagram or highlights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What type of music you listen to? Like, what do you like to do in your spare time? I listen to. It. I listen to I listen to a lot of different music. Like I got my rap music. Then you got that little rap R and B music mixture. But who who the favorite who? artist? Favorite yeah, like, artist. I give my artists. top three. If you three. had to pick one, top three, NBA Young Boy. Because every kid want to hear this NBA right now. No cap. All the kids love NBA Young Boy. They love him. Hold on. When the hell have you been in the last twenty goddamn years? You don't know about NBA nah, Young Boy. Yo, he's the number one rapper <laughs> in the world right now. Young Boy ain't even talking. But I'm just saying, but he's the number one rapper in the I world, that. trending know, and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I Everybody, know that. Hey, hey look, my, my, my last year of uh, with the Bucks, you was in there listening to the NBA. <laughs> First time I heard you NBA Young Boy, but nah, it was Devin White because they they from uh, Louisiana, Leonard Fournette. Yeah, I don't know him like that, but every song was like. It's scary. Like somebody will get shot. That's all. <laughs> Every song, somebody gets shot like twice. I'm like, damn, this dude violent. <laughs> so, all right. So, anyway, who else you got? NBA Young Boy. Uh, no cap. No cap. I do like Young Cap. No cap. Okay. Yeah. Who's no cap? Rallo. No cap. He's Rallo from, Rodriguez. He's, he's from, who you Cap saying? from Alabama. Rallo Rodriguez. Rep. Boy, what? Now, nah, I don't know none of these oh. dudes. Hey, um, I don't know these rappers. I'm gonna make sure you get his number two. That's the homie. <laughs> no nah, I got Rallo. That's Rallo. My Rallo. 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 You can't. Now, you baby, can't, baby you hot. can't you, you that can't. little baby, he hit how to stay rolling yeah. right now. You can't. Fifth, I Kodak, go. You don't listen to Kodak? I listen to Yak. I do like Kodak. Kodak. I, listen, <laughs> I listen to Yak. Jack? I'm gonna go. Yak. Yeah, Kodak. 
I'm that's, a, go that's his name, Yak? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. They older than me. I don't even you know. Mikey I got go. four million followers. Yeah. They all you know, they gonna be clowning you. They gonna be like, you don't know Yak? Who you who your last about, one? Oh, oh Nip, 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 Nip. <laughs> gotta be Nip. Nip. Hey, look, so what's your DM life like? Huh? Let's get well, to as it. Far, as far you as young, who? you fly, you marketable. Yeah. <laughs> right. Number one player in the country. Right. Now Shady. It's popping, right. you know what I'm saying, on Instagram. Say who? Right. He prefer Instagram than meeting in person, probably. <laughs> so, He's lying, though. Know. Superstar. He's lying. DM, look in the camera and tell him you're tight. Hey, y'all there? Oh, he finna. <laughs> <laughs> what you looking for? Uh, he finna have my motion go away. <laughs> yeah, they tripping my motion that. up. They draw snitching. We ain't gonna say nothing about you, Shady. No, bro. No, but, but I'm, I'm actually no. serious. Is, is your DM on fire? Yes or no? You got three million viewers. Is it on of fire? Course. It's on fire. All right. It's, it's on, on fire. Enough. I get y'all like inside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that ain't for everybody, you know, though. Right. Yeah, but, but how right. you navigate through that, right? Because, like, you your challenges is different than everybody else in the anybody world. Anybody else. That's right. I mean, you got to think about. Every move you make. That's one of the things that made LeBron legendary. It's, yeah, he's dope on the field, but he the best role. He model. got a clean, like, you don't hear no dirt no. on LeBron, right? And you got an opportunity to do the same thing. So, or how you approach your dating life and the, the girls and all of that? It's a good question. You know what I mean? I mean, like, it's, I mean, if I'm cool, if I'm a, you know, like, if I'm which I'm, you know what I'm saying? That's how it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I, I, I tend to like to keep it on the low at first, you know what I'm saying? Right, but I could tell, I could tell with a short, you know, like I could tell her vibe just off of talking to her for two seconds, you know what I'm saying? And how they approach me. I don't like, and I'd rather, say if I DM somebody, I'd rather approach them because then it's like, all right, they ain't even approach me, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, let right. me slide, you know what I'm saying? Like. Right then, I hope it's like they approach me, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, but I don't necessarily, I don't like, do. I don't usually, I've never been in a relationship with a female that's approached me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I didn't feel like, let me grab it. You know this is saying? this is the only advice I would give you, bro, is like, you know, young, and then obviously you can eat, bro. Like, we like to break bread with people on the show that we admire and respect. Sure. So, this is Melbus right. in Harlem, Appreciate black owned you. business. Um, when I was playing for the Jets and Giants, I used to go there almost every Thursday night, me and my lady, and uh, support is fire food. So this is Melbus. Shout out to Melbus. Have you had any celebrity chicks, older chicks, slide in the deals? They probably slide different. Hey, hey great game. <laughs> he 18. <laughs> when did it start for I you? Was he legal. But I was See, bro, you, you ain't wait till I got See, you ain't have no one. juice, B. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in the city, boy, things start early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You go, th I'm saying, I, I was I mean, speaking for I mean, myself. So you had like a celebrity chick? Having, you? I was having emotion with that before I was 18. Damn, no babies. When well, did you consider yourself a baby? This is what I would say to you. Like, I, 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 never, no. I never was popping like that. I, I know, that's why I'm asking you a question. What's that? When did you consider yourself grown as a kid? Man, not until I got to college, bro. Oh, I've dang. been grown since I was 13. I believe that. Now, that, that's the ideal thing to do. Lose I'm Jimmy talking about and, grown and, and as college. in considering, as in mom and daddy ain't waking me up for school. Yeah. It's my choice, do I want to go to school or not? I might give my mama five, six hundred dollars this this month on the rent. You know what I mean? Hey man, what's going on? Da 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 da. We like you hit this school. Hey man, da da da. da. Yeah, that, oh, that like, happened for me. That happened grown. eighth grade. Eighth grade, but as far as grown, we always talking about women. Like that took. I was so focused on basketball. I mean, on football and basketball and track that I wasn't like. I was corny. I was whack. I wasn't into the in the girls like that. I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here's my advice. <laughs> I mean, a lot hasn't changed. Like you still. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Here's my advice, bro. Is have fun, enjoy. You know what I'm saying? But be smart. Be careful, bro. Sickness, disease, babies. You know what I'm saying? More baby problems. mamas. So God damn. 
Let me tell you, the yeah, child support that. thing is real now. Yep. We just chopping up game. You get what I'm saying? This you're gonna be like, man, goddamn Pack and B. Shady yep. told me this. I'm telling you. Look here, partner. I mean, camera, zoom in. Choo -choo. Look here, man. I ain't gonna say no name, but I know a friend of mine that was probably only making a million bucks. He played ten years. He spent eighty five hundred dollars a month from the time he played. I think uh his son is God bless his him. son was one when he when he went to the league. I'm just saying, just mentally, this is how you gotta you gotta move. And this is just shooting game at you. So you can start thinking about this. You know what I mean? When you think about, oh man, oh that feel good, you know what I'm saying? Without no boy that feeling you get what i'm saying because oh, no. the feeling oh, yeah, no. it ain't like the check oh, and no. what i was saying it was like and they all want the check man 8500 a month hey, hey tell them that take them to court Pat, oh, tell I'm them the that best back. dad in the world cheeks 8500 right, right. they all so want the check the low end you get what i'm saying and then, so. and then and then and then also that's that's that side of it too but you know and everybody got their own pers their perspectives and their own views on things bro i just think that like when you ready to settle down like make sure like that that's the one like Write down, here's my top five non-negotiables. <laughs> here's my top five non-negotiables. This is what I want in a woman. You know what I'm saying? And until you find that, take it easy, right? Like a lot of dudes get in these long-term relationships early because it feel good, it look good. You know what I'm saying? Create the standard and hold that standard. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a big commitment. It's real. You know what I'm saying? We don't have these conversations. Is, is there any, like, I know you got your supporting cast. We talked about them earlier, but like, is there any like players that play current players or ex players that you talk to about any of this stuff? Money, women, whatever. The homies, are, the homies, like, not like I won't. That's if I'm like, well, I got, I got dudes I'm cool with, and I got the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, say like Melo, like that's just on us. That's just I wouldn't even put that as consider guys like Melo, Amari, like them is in a basketball category because that's life. That goes, our relationship goes past basketball. So that's just regular stuff that we talk about, you know what I'm saying? But not too many, not too, not too many dudes in the league. Melo, Melo. and Amari. Wait, Melo, Amari. the uh, old Melo? Or are you talking about the young, or? Uh, Melo, Ball. No, Melo, Ball. 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 And who is Amari? Bailey. Okay. He, he, he okay. Uh, the young boy. Yep, yep, yep. But what I'm saying, I'm talking about like, not like like friends, like y'all the same, you almost the same age. Right, Mari, and then you got so, something so about like, let's paint it this way. Like G's I mean, like an old, old head. Old head. You know what I'm saying? Like, so let me paint the picture this way. This is what I, I, I said on the show before. Every man you hear, you got a mentor. That's what Shady talking about. Who's that dude you look up to that you follow outside of Onk, outside of Pop? Does everybody have to have a mentor? I think so. I think it I helps think him out. You had a mentor, bro. Crazy. You never had a mentor? Never looked up to my name, man. Deion Sanders. Was not my mentor until after I got into the but, league. But that's so, what I mean, so I was growing up, I wasn't looking at I'm no. I'm not talking about mentally, that. Mentally, I was, my life was too fast to be go, oh, oh, I want to go, I want to call Deion Sanders. Be like, man, get the f out of here. So you think you better because you had it? I'm actually like, do you think that helped? I'm not saying that, but, I'm but saying, what I'm saying is. But if you had like, that, would you have been better? My question. If you had some type of help. I don't know. You don't know. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm talking about, Pac. Like, I'm talking about I think, eventually I, you I got think there. I, you're right. I would have probably did better. That's a, that's, that's, I would have probably did. It's obvious. But my question is, like, it, it sounds easy, like, oh, boom, 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 I'm, I'm the number one player. My access, because I got all of this, that doesn't mean, like, it's old heads like us that would be willing to, like, hey, little bro, man, I'm watching you, you know what I mean? Blas, I love I what you're doing. I say one, he ain't no hooper, but Jacquees. Mm. He, all, he always check, like he always check. That's my brother. That's like, good. He, yeah. like, that's my dog. Like he let me come. Shout out to Queens. He got an album on the solid, way. Solid dude. He, yeah, he yeah. let me come stay at his crib or whatever. Slank. Like you know what I'm saying? That's one dude that I can say like always reach out to me, make sure I'm good and stuff right there on the right track. Yeah, and that's what Shady was you talking about. You don't think that? My thing is like I swear, man. I had my dad. My dad was was in my life. You know what I'm saying? And he's like he was real strict. And then my brother played pro, pro ball. He didn't play at the level I played at. But he still was somebody I could call, like, yo, damn. You know what I mean? They just gave me, I don't know, $50 million deal. They gave me $38 million guaranteed. Like, he don't know. He never had that money, but he got an idea, like, yo, don't do this because this is what I did wrong. Or, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I had somebody to help me out. But I'll be thinking about if I was on your level, because you on different levels than I've seen, probably what? I'm thinking of OJ Mayo, LeBron, you know what I mean? Your type of, if I had my dog, what should I do with this? What should I do that? Because they already I did it. I know one thing with me is I'm, I, I am hard headed. 
I will tell you that, but I'm not hard headed to where it's ignorant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but at the end of the day, I'm a man, I'm gonna make my own decision. It's like I I only give another man advice. I ain't gonna tell another man what to do. It's your decision, you know what I'm saying? But this is what I think about it, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, I'm like, you're gonna respect my decision. You know what I'm saying? So say my pops be the same way in my ear. He's not like He's not strict on me like that or nothing like that, but it's about some stuff or even everybody, they all like that's something to say. Like, you know what I'm saying? About something like trying to give me a different point of view. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I hear him out, but at the end of the day, I ain't gonna base, I ain't gonna base my decision off of what so and so is saying. I gotta feel that. You know what I'm saying? And Shady, you know it's it's kinda hard because like throwing myself back in the equation. But for instance, I came up through Atlanta. I was highly ranked and all that. You know, made a couple of dollars playing ball, doing boom, boom, boom. But right after the Miami game, I mean, like it went from couldn't even call nobody for West Virginia, a hundred dollar Western Union. You hear what I'm college? telling you? What? The night we played Miami, oh my God, did it change my life? Then you know, and I'm, I'm just speaking about it. What happened in talking. Miami game? You don't remember when I smacked Kevin Winslow in the Miami game? What the hell are you at, B? <laughs> Jesus okay. Christ. Tell the people. But what I'm saying is that game changed my life. And verbatim as in tournaments, like he was saying when the Cavs to my bones, uh -huh. basketball jump off. Do you get what I'm saying? Then you get, oh. Yeah, at that point, I don't even want to hear what you got to say because where you was at just like he did all, He did all the work. Ago, he did all the work. Yeah, like, you get what I'm saying? I'm finna, I'm finna stick over here with, uh, you know what I mean? Da da this, blase this, blase that. I'm oh, speaking. His core is his core, though. Yeah. Your core, no, no. Your core should be your core. Yeah. The core group you with, nah, roll with them. I'm just saying for like small things, like, uh, you know, like if I had somebody to tell me more about, like, take care of my body. Because everybody say that, but like, tell me, like LeBron, he talking about he spent a million dollars. So that sounds cool. But if I call you, like, yo, Bron, what, what is that really? Because everybody said a million dollars, but what right. is that? Tell me exactly what you're doing. With I'm buying this, I'm buying that. So right. that way, that, so when I say like ask my for advice, I'm not talking about your decision, but stuff like that, like take care of your body. Well, what's that mean, bro? Show, show me your receipt, what you did. That way you can respect it more. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why I was asking like a, a, a figure like that, that really did it. But I want to piggyback off what Shady's saying, because that's important, because like, bro, like there's a huge responsibility with your platform. You're the first in a lot of things. You understand? So like there's a lot of dudes, his nephews, you know, they love his you, kids, my, my, my kids, my nephews are looking up and they're going to listen more to you than they listen to us sometimes. Right. <laughs> so well, Mikey said I say that, that because, <laughs> you know, like you just said from a basketball perspective, because we'll get to the back to business. I know Shay don't want to talk too much about business, but from a basketball perspective, you said you want to be a Hall of Famer. You want to be great. So I think you need to be intentional. I think Quez phenomenal. Right. Because he can teach you about life. But then who who wore them shoes before LeBron James? Like I feel like you should call LeBron James, uh, uh, LBJ, and say, "Bro, teach me how to yeah. what that look like. Why you spend a million dollars? How much should I be spending right now? Right? Like if you think about being a legendary, you got to talk to Tom Brady. You got to talk to Serena Williams. You got to talk to you know uh, 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 Derek Jeter. You right. understand? Tiger Woods. That's and right. you got the access. And yeah. we ain't we ain't knocking you. We we getting you game like you the you get what I'm saying? It's gonna light them up up when you hey bro, da da da. God damn, he just did. They feel special. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to say, hey man, what the f you doing the with your body? Yeah, the gold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? And they blow them up more. Yeah. If they tell you, if they if they can talk about everything's narrative, I don't care what I say, right? They gonna promote it, yo, because they probably they don't have to gain enough for you, but they help you out. They gonna put it in the blogs. I mean, they look bigger. So that, that's just the advice right there, you know what I'm saying? And you already doing a phenomenal job, bro. I wasn't thinking the way you was thinking at this age. Now I'll push it to, to the business side because you talked about it, you brought it up. But Lil Birdie told me that, like, you want to be a billionaire. Yeah. Like, I wasn't thinking about being a billionaire until about two years ago. That's it. And what does that mean, you want to be a billionaire? How are you going to make a bill? I'm trying to be worth a billion dollars by the time I'm 25. So seven years, I, in seven yeah. years, because it's like, I think with me, I got bread right now, but yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to look. <laughs> That's what I'm not saying, like, by the way, don't get it messed up. Like, <laughs> thank you, Puma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm making investments like now, but it's not, I want to make 
I'm trying to have bread to where I'm making $50 million investments, right? And that's turning into $500 million and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think I could, I think I could do that by the time I'm, by the time I'm 25. I think yeah, I yeah, you that. can. So that's what I'm trying. That's my goal. Bro, we wasn't thinking like this or talking Nobody like this 18, when we was 18. Nobody 18 thinking like that. I know. So you can, I, the game. Uh, can we go back to basketball right quick? Let's do it. Top five schools. No, if two or three, you're going to really narrow it down. When we making uh, this decision? Don't be at least my five, five, <laughs> five. There go, there go, right there. There you go. Oh, no, oh, no, I'm working, I'm working now. I like, I like the G. Who? I, I like G. Uh, G Lee's option. I like Kansas. I like... Memphis. You know Memphis. Any? Any other one? I'm still looking. I'm still I'm still looking at the HBCUs. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a few of them. Okay. It's a few of them. I'm still I'm still trying to decide which ones I'm gonna take my visit to. You know what I'm saying? You talk to D on Prime? I ain't spoke. I ain't spoke. I know, to but him. you know what I'm saying? He, my boy go there, though. He played football there. So I think I'm a I definitely gotta take a visit over there. Yeah, take a visit uh, for sure. I got a question. So. If you sign with someone that doesn't, that isn't sponsored by Puma, how does that work? As far as what? That's a great question. So if you sign mm. with Miami, they sponsored by Adidas. Ooh. Are you gonna cover up the Adidas while you play? Uh, so for instance, I LeBron mean, just played in this game in the what is it? The Drew thing, right? Truly, he covered up, taped up the Adidas because. He's like sponsored by I like mean, it. at the end of the day, it's not going to be up to me if it works or not. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be up to the lawyers got to go back and forth with oh, that. Right. If it works, it's like work, work, don't, it don't. But if they want it, got to make it happen. happen. That's right. Yeah. Great answer to But smart. I'm not going to say yeah, I'm smart, not. I'm smart. It's smart. <laughs> that motherfucker shot that one up. Hey, hold on. That's the lawyer's job. <laughs> oh, the lawyer's job. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey, so what? Who's Who's been like the hardest? player you you've played against played against a lot of them but the hardest one to guard probably zion Harmon. he go to he uh he graduated in like two years ago I, what is it i graduated about two years ago i think he uh go to western kentucky but yeah it's like that <laughs> hold on i got some notes now let me That's read my question. notes that was that was i'm gonna piggyback off your question shady 2022 nba draft number one overall pick number two overall pick you got paulo and you got Holmgren. Say, yeah. Okay. Then you dropped 25 on Holmgren? Yes. I did. <laughs> you did. How was that experience? Because them boys uh, in the NBA right now, how'd you match up against well, them boys in the NBA? Well, so much. He, Chet wasn't really guarding me that game, but I was guarding Chet, though. Yeah, I was, like, I was, it was personal. Like, I love Chet. You know what I'm it wasn't personal. You know, no beef or nothing, but it's on the court. Beating. It's personal on the court. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't, score, he ain't scoring me. But he was flaming, <laughs> but he was flaming my team, though. But on me, I, when I was like, I'm finna hold him. Like, after I, I won the same thing, you know, it's funny, like, that game right there, he, I wanted to guard him coming out. They was like, nah, let so-and-so guard him. So I'm like, all right, he started flaming him. So I'm like, all right, bro, it's, it's a quarter and a half in the game. Like, it's about to be half time. I'm like, bro, I'm finna guard him, bro. Like, so after that, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was guarding him, he was, he ain't score. He ain't want to put the ball down because it's, it's easy for guards to guard bigs because it takes long yep, to put the dribble on the floor. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, then, like, same thing we was playing Monty Bates. That's my boy. He he, he came out flaming. I was trying to hold him off the, you know what I'm saying, off the rip. I let so-and-so guard him, so-and-so longer, whatever, this and that. All right. Folks come in the game and hit four straight. I'm like, no. and he came off the bench. He came off the bench into the game and hit four straight. I'm like, no, bro, let me guard him. So I slowed him down, this and that. But, oh, yeah, then I played against P. Yeah, I've been playing against P, though, since we was, like, little, like, sixth grade. So that's my boy. K, Cunningham, Barnes, 2021 K. draft, bro. Like, he, he – So you play a lot of dudes. Because yeah. cause I want to get to, you know, how everybody say you overrated, right? So I'm giving you an opportunity to kind of lay the foundation. Mm -hmm. You got K, Cunningham, 2021 draft. You got Barnes. I'm not, I mean, if you know basketball, I'm not overrated. It's a trend, basically. Like, but people get caught up comparing social media to basketball, you know what I'm saying? Like, they see, I, I, I don't get it. I, I personally don't get it, but it's it's a trend to call me overrated, for real. Like, that's just what so it is. is. There I can't any really, doubt? like, you, you see what I'm doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just very humble about it. I'm not like, oh, I just scored. 
25 on a song. So I'm supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. that's how I'm supposed to do it. But like, if I don't have 50, then that's when, oh, he's overrated. If I don't have a windmill Duncan, oh, he's overrated. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So they like compare, not compare, but like when people look at Shady's comparison, they say Barry Sanders, right? The way he ran the ball. They used to call me Baby T.O., right? But more like I was just big. But there was really no comparison there. Right. Pac, I don't know who they compared you to. Who they compared you to? Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. So, Deion Sanders, who would you say your comparison is? <laughs> hold on, no. Yeah, what are you talking about, though? Hold on. I can't let this thing go. Hold on. Yeah. Hey, like, they can put you to who? <laughs> hold on, no. Shady, talking about. I try to hold that. That, that, went, hold that went over my head. Shady. <laughs> that went over my head. He was nice, but hold on. They compared you to who? Bro, I don't, I, don't, I cannot control what he can, people compare. <laughs> oh, my bad. My fault. I'm sorry. They control. They compare him to Bear, uh, Deion Sanders. Continue. My fault. Oh, shit. What I'm going to do with Shady? You my dog. I just. Did y'all hear that? Never mind. Oh, he my God. He said they compare him to Deion Sanders. So, so basketball comparison. They compare me to Donovan Mitchell. Like, that's been the only comparison, to be honest, because I'm like a, like, I'm, I'm like, you say built like him. Kind of got the same game, but I got flashes of other people in my game, really. Like, I'm very explosive, quick, you know what I'm saying? I can shoot, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I think, I, I like the Donovan Mitchell comparison, but I'm thinking, like, I got a little bit of Dame in me mm. as, as far as creating my shots, you know what I'm saying? Like, certain shots, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I get downhill, taking off. And, and you got you, bounce. You can say John Morant, but I'm, I'm a little bit more, like, heavier than John Morant. So you can say, like, uh, I'm not as big as Westbrook, but that's how I'm trying to come downhill. Right. But probably, yeah, probably. That's how I, that's what I see. You know what I'm right. I pass the ball very well. So, but I don't really... I don't really try to model my game after anybody. That's why I feel like nobody can really say he plays like so and so. I feel like it's just like a how I'm built type thing. You know what I'm saying? So, so one of the things as an athlete, like I feel like you know, outside of Shady, overly confident, right? Like most dudes, like struggle with confidence, right? LeBron struggled, you know what I'm saying? At times when he made the move from Cleveland Miami. to Miami, and he had to, he took on another like ultra ego and he had to check himself, right? How do you navigate through that? Like being yourself, you got oh, social media, you got so many people. Yeah, like during quarantine, I was getting, I was depressed, like going through a lot. Then I had made the move to North Carolina. It was automatically hostile, you know what I'm saying? As it, as it should be, I'm from the West Coast, it's East Coast, policy like that, you know what I'm saying? But like that whole season right there, like I, my confidence, because I wasn't really into the basketball part. I wasn't even trying to hoop no more for real. I was like, bro, this weak, like, bro. I was like, well, I'm trash as hell. Like, I'm weak. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, and at that point, when my when my mental was all the way good, then I really, then you start hearing the crowd and like you hear what everybody's saying, and then it's hard to tune out the noise. So I was, it was a little phase, like. At least three fourths of that season, where I was, I wasn't me. I was like, man, like I'm off this. I'm not trying. You like to move. depressed? Did you depressed? Yeah. So I was like, I was kind of off that. So what does that mean? Because a lot of times we throw that word, or we use that word lightly. So when you say like depressed, you know, that's a powerful. You cannot word. appreciate life. Like even if you're not depressed, you can still be unappreciated life. But like I was just like down bad, bro. Like not trying to do nothing, bro. Like. I'm done with this. I'm done with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't even really trying to, like, I was trying to be away from What, what was the reason? So a lot, it was just a lot going on, a lot of family stuff, a lot oh, of okay, okay. all that. You know what I'm saying? So, was that the first major walk you talked about? Definitely. Was mm. that the first? Because I just had such a great, I had a historical, I probably had the coldest freshman season out of everybody that had never been in high school. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, my freshman season was crazy. I come off a season like that. Then you got all this stuff going on. Then you hooping again and you're not yourself. You're like, damn, what happened? You feel me? Like, I wasn't getting to the gym. Like, I was like, man, like, forget, like, forget all of it. Like, I'm not even trying to hoop. You know what I'm saying? So, I didn't know what to expect as you was coming in, bro. I want to say, couple, like, I want to really give you your flowers. Mm. Because you know your shit from a business perspective. Oh, so. You talking about things from investment, managing teams, you know what I mean? Putting people in place. You're talking about things that we didn't talk about, man. So I'm Hell super man. impressed. 
when it comes to that. I'm also super impressed, bro, around your vulnerability, right? Because I think a lot of us athletes, you know, you saw Kevin Love, DeMar DeRozan, Naomi Osaka, uh, Simone Biles, uh, so many other athletes, Calvin Ridley, Dak Prescott, come out and talk about their challenges around this whole journey. You know what I'm saying? A lot of athletes deal with that. So Definitely. You, it's, it's, you start judging yourself because everybody's holding you to a certain standard. And then if you don't meet the, meet those expectations, it's like, like you know what I'm saying? But you got to you gotta do it for yourself. You can't. That's what I had to learn. Like, I can't yeah. do it for everybody. Like, I can't play for the crowd. I can't. what you, you saying know what I'm right saying? Like, I got to do it for myself. As long like, as you gotta, always keep that mindset. Like, now, like, I'm, I'm glad that I done, I done went through all that and just a lot more. Because now it's like, man, I'm appreciative of life already. And I still got a long way to go. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, man, I'm like, I just look at life a little differently. I appreciate it more. The highs and the lows. You know what I'm saying? Right. Lowe's only going to build you up, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just getting battle tested, you know what I'm saying? So I got a few more questions, and then we open it up and see what we missed. But uh, 626, tattoo in your hand, what that mean? My birthday, I think angel numbers too. Uh, then I see 626, I've been seeing 626, like, every day on the clock for, like, three, four years, bro, like, randomly. You know what I'm saying? So, it was like, it's my birthday, so I'm God's angel, so I'm like, it's my angel numbers. What about the other one right there? This saying unlimited, unlimited range, a little dark, like. That's what I got. Hold it up. Unlimited range. That's what I got. <laughs> In what? In basketball? Yeah. We'll see after this. Hey, hey, let me ask you this, though. So, you, you talked about all, like, a lot of the good stuff, right? Yeah. And everybody talks about that, but. What are, because you know yourself better than anybody, what are some of the weaknesses that you need to work on in your game? Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, everything, you know, like I don't really got some, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna work on it. I'm trying to work on everything. Like, you can't never be good enough. That's what, I, that's what I feel like, you know what I'm saying? But, I, well, I just, me just coming back off an of injury right now, I'm, I gotta get my, like, I gotta get back strong. Legs, so strength. Legs, so yeah. Probably that right now. That was always one thing I used to do with like, um, can't your shot? You can't can't start working on your shot. You can't can't. So I was thinking about when they, they scout you. So like if I had to scout LaShawn McCoy, how would I stop him? You know what I mean? That's how I would get better. I would train like damn. Make him run in the box. <laughs> Easy question. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> Make his ass run in the box. I don't know. He's talking. Duh. About. <laughs> so what was the weakness, baby? No, I was saying, like, I would learn, like, so I would watch, like, damn. When I would watch, like, I didn't run as tough to the left like I did to the right. You know what I'm saying? Now, real talk. So look, what I would start doing was, I'm sorry, I would always cut back. I would run to the left and always cut back right. Right. So I, I would have to reverse that. You know what I mean? Now I would run more to the right and I would cut back left. Right. I don't know the box. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. So you see, you know, as a player, what would they say? What would what the you, what you said? Like, how would they stop? Like, how would they stop you? I don't think anybody has. I don't think anybody has ever been able to come up with like an idea to stop me. Like, you know what I'm saying? In, unless it's not triple team, you can't really stop me. Like said, I'd, have, I'd have to triple. Just, I'd have to just be missing shots or something like. But someone stopping me, like actually making it tough for me, like I don't think that's. that's happening. But that's like, now though, bro. You different. You t you talking about high school ball? In right. about a year or two, you are gonna be in the NBA. You just said you gonna have played Kawhi, against though. Who was you gonna, first round? Yeah, you gonna have Kawhi. You gonna have Kawhi Leonard right. guarding. You gonna have Paul uh, Paul George guarding you. Honestly, that's when it well, gets yeah, different. I'm not taking that away from nobody, but I didn't played against pro guys before. Yeah. Like the game is not. It's not much different. Keep and that, honestly, keep your attitude right. the game. The game is the game is easier if you know the game and you can play the game. Like like how I was telling you, I see stuff two plays or play ahead, two plays ahead. Like those pro dudes on the same page as me. You know what I'm saying? Rather, I'm playing with dudes in high school and they're not seeing it. So it's like, damn, you can't make that. You're not seeing that cut right. Like, you got to you gotta see that cut right there. You got to know right. this and that, you know what I'm saying? But the game is easier, honestly. But the competition go, competition leagues, obviously, is the best in the world. But So Shady asked about the scouting report as a ball player, as a man, as a young man. You know, what would you say some areas of opportunity for you to grow? Like, mm. what do you focus on as a person? Just as a person? Yeah. Because we can't forget about that, right? The athlete, the Neil deals, all that cool. But how you going to grow as a man one day as a father? You know what? You just got to go. You, I feel like you just you just got to keep going through. 
You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep going through things to grow in order to grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then me, I, I pick up, like, I'm real, I was, like, I'm chill, like, I sit back and watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, even being around Brian, like, like, when, I, when I'm around Brian and stuff, I'm, I don't just watch what Brian does, you know what I'm saying? But I'll take notes, like, oh, like he about to go do this. So I'll take notes to see what it's really like. Like, Brian stop in and out the house, you know what I'm saying? Maybe once a day, twice a day, like, he, I'm like, he got to go do this. I'm like, damn, man, that's how it's going to be. Now, I was really like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 like, take notes on a lot of stuff. So I feel like I'm definitely, like, got a lot of, a lot of knowledge off that. And that helps me grow because I know not to do this because I didn't see what to happen because he did it. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. A, big, wait, a big lesson that, if, real quick, in your DMs, uh -huh. it's a big lesson for y'all and Unk. If they too old for you, send them to Uncle Shady. I got you. <laughs> I'm going to make the right decision. I made the right decision, baby. I got you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say if they too old, but I send you some for sure. No. <laughs> 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 rapping. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Matt. With the rapping, um, went through your, all your stuff. Is that a stress believer? Are you trying to be a rapper? I know basketball is your main main. Nah, Dan can rap too. He rap said, like Dan. It's just, it's just like a way to get stuff off my chest. Cause I keep like, I don't go talk to nobody. All my problems, I just keep in. But putting in the music is just a way, and then for people to hear it like that, like my homies and shit like that, like I ain't drop man. I don't think I'm a drop man because. You know, politics playing to that. I don't want to get framed or anything like that. hundred songs, you ain't going to drop one? I got more. Can we hear some right now? Yeah, can we, let's get one. Let's, let's hear some right now. You rap, I'll rap. The top. If you like, rap, I'll rap. Don't do it. What you mean? Like, like, yeah, like freestyle. Some, 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 if you freestyle, I'll freestyle. I'll tell you, I can't, I can't Something freestyle. you wrote. Something you wrote. I don't write either. I go in there and we'll come But you got a hundred songs, though. Over a yeah. hundred songs. I got a hundred songs, hundred clips. Nothing you remember? Something that you like, yo, I wrote this. This was on my mind. I wrote this. I don't write. Like outside of rapping, do you do any journaling or any writing? Nah, poems? that's really my journal. Like that's my journalism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I've tried to write a song before, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> I was like, that's not how I'm like. I gotta go in there how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? I can't just think of some, come up with some stuff. Like I like to like when you listen to my music, you'll hear me tell a story through it, put real stuff in. Right. I'm not just rapping, talking about no BS. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a dog lover. What kind of animals do you like? All of them, bro. Say you crocodile hunter or something. Crocodile. <laughs> I ain't I ain't done I ain't done that, but I, I like like all the animals. Like people call me crazy. Like like snakes. I, but like I don't I look listen. I don't I don't like snakes, but I be bored. I got way too much free time. I just, you feel me? So I go to I, I went to go get a snake, bro. Like I went to go get a like snake. Like a rattlesnake. Nah, I'm not. Nah, I don't snake. Nah. Nah. A cobra. I don't. I got an air. I got a, It's called an Arizona king snake, right? Oh, that sounds dangerous. But hold on though. But it escaped. <laughs> it what? In the house? Oh my god! <laughs> how, how big was it? Oh, it was, it was like this big. How long did you to find it? This big, huh? Poisonous and what? No, no, it's not poisonous. But how long did you take it? It take you to find it? I ain't found it. It's oh, just in there. God. It's in the crib. Yeah, but it's not big enough to bite you and do no damage. Two way? It's dead. My he ain't dead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So dead. wait, you ain't find it yet. What do you mean? I had this. We stopped looking for it. This is no. We lie, stopped bro. looking for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm I had a python that happened to me. This, yeah, this nah. Is under see, God, you asked my wife. So I had a, a, a python that got out the cage. Got bad Denver. owners. When I was in too. Denver, <laughs> and when we finally, <laughs> we, I finally found them, and like I could tell you, I ate some, but um, I had put them back in the cage with the light and everything on them. And he passed. I I literally was in tears, and I was, I blamed my, I blamed everybody in the house for that, and it was really my fault too. Was your fault? Yeah, because I left the fucking. It the, ate your the, dog, the, bro. What's the name? Both of y'all need to talk what to Tarzan. Ate your dog. No, no. no. Both of y'all need to talk to Tarzan. What did you know he know Tarzan? I couldn't tell what he ate, but like he passed away like oh two, he passed. Two days later. Oh, I thought you said he ate. You. Like yeah, yeah. So much respect for you, bro. Oh, like love. seriously, like big business talk today. Um, we learned a lot. You know, I think a lot of our audience learned a lot and respect you even more. And the things that you talked about today, bro, like it took us years to figure some of this stuff out. You know, I, the biggest thing that I that my biggest takeaway um, from this conversation is what you said is like, you know what? You're going to make mistakes, but you got to learn from them. And uh, 
I mean, that's the biggest advice, bro. Is like it's going. It's a journey. You know what I mean? So and it's beautiful. You only get one. That's right. But like where you at right now? You light head. You light years ahead of so many other athletes, especially us, man. So a lot of respect for you. That's Thank love. You. I appreciate that for sure. Appreciate you, brother. We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah, wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he gotta eat, you know. Despite the skills, fat. Keep it riding for the fam. You gotta light the wooden wheels straight up. But in the past bad, work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah. And my family needed bread. I had to come correct. That's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas.